So this one is inspired by the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Leatherface. And if you want to know how you can create a makeup just like this one, please keep watching because I will show you step by step in this video. As we do makeups and not masks, I thought to convert the Leatherface mask into a makeup. And that is why I am blocking my eyebrows at this point. This is something I'm doing with Spirit Gum because I'm gonna glue a lot to my skin today and I don't want to lose my eyebrows after creating this makeup. So I'm just simply applying a layer of Spirit Gum to my eyebrows, I will let it dry and then powder it with a setting powder. While the spirit gum is drying, let me quickly talk you through the preparation I had to create Leatherface today. So I decided to pour latex on a plate. I used the lid of one of my makeup cases and I let it dry and that created this little sheet of skin. So I have two of these plates created. That is too much for my Leatherface, but better a bit too much fake skin then not enough um, the lenses are in the spirit gum is powdered I have a hairband on to get my hair a bit out of the way so let's create a letter face now I have my piece of latex and of course I need to cut this up to become letter face and stick them all to my skin uh, I googled letter face to get some reference pictures and I feel like he changes a lot, so I have found a few different looks that he had over all time that Leatherface has existed. So I'm gonna kind of go with my face shape and what I think would look cool for a Halloween makeup. I will definitely put stitches in at the end, but maybe not all the pieces will be exactly there where they should be according to the letter face from the movies. But I'm gonna start with one of my eyebrows and my forehead. So I'm just gonna cut up a piece of this sheet and apply it to my skin. There is my first piece of letter face. I have my prosate. Um Yes, let's get a Q-tip. So let's put the first bit here to start with. So there will be a lot of prosate on the skin if you're gonna recreate this. So make sure you have your life wipes as well. So you can remove it without getting very angry with me that you couldn't remove the makeup again. All the pieces of latex I want are on my skin. I ended up putting five different pieces on there. So that gives me enough room to put stitches in at the end. Uh, and at this point, I know it looks funny because it looks like a face mask that has gone completely wrong with the cat ears and a strange color on my skin. But now we are going to color this and change it into Leatherface. I will start with Pale Dead. That is a Pro Air Hybrid makeup intended to use with the airbrush but easy to use with a brush as well and as this is a first layer I'm not really gonna be fussy on how it looks there will be a lot of makeup over this I just don't want to see my own skin through the latex anymore because that way I can get more of a feel of what I'm creating also a pro air color the walking dead a lovely greenish color and as you can see I'm putting less of this on the skin because otherwise I'll just be green in a minute. This color is called Ice. It is a blue color. Corpse just sounds like it is a very good idea on this makeup. Also still by Pro Air. And a very green swamp mask because yeah, well, why not? And that is the final color I have for my base coat. There is the base coat of Leatherface, so still all but human skin looking, but not to worry. We are going to continue with the Skin Cover Up Palette by Encore and the Splatter Brush by Ben Nye. I'm just going to splatter color over it, not to hide the base layer entirely, but to give it more of a skin-like color to it. So as you can see, this one now really looks like a sheet of something that I put on my skin. And that is exactly the effect we want to achieve with this step in the makeup. Because Leatherface, of course, has all of those skin 
on his face so by kind of outlining them where they have cut off the human skin we easily create that effect time to slightly change the skin tone of a few of them because this skin didn't come from one person of course it came from a few different persons and as we all have different skin tones I should change them ever so slightly now this is the cool glam shadow palette by Ben Nye and I'm going to use a few of these colors to put some shadows on the wrinkles and on various places on this mask to create a bit more depth Okay, so that is starting to look like something gross and not like a failed face mask anymore. It does look like something of a mask, but not the one that should make you prettier. So I discovered that I like the mask darker. That is why I'm putting more shadow on there still as it's dried, bloodless human skin. I suppose it would look gross. I know what I want to do. I want to put some real blood around the edges. Some very old dark dried blood like the scab blood by Vermilion effects, the drying blood, the liquid one. That is what I am going to do. So here is my scab drying blood by Vermilion effects. This is a liquid blood but when you put it on the skin or in my case on this latex in a minute or two it will dry and it has that very brownish red old blood color and I think that would be lovely around the edge of each of that skin piece because the blood would be very old it would have dried and that is where this blood comes in. So I have a detail brush and I will just Get it on those edges a bit it doesn't have to be a lot but I don't really want it to look very brush strokery let's put some stitches on this leather face and I have a bit of fake leather that I'm gonna cut up to use as stitches so I'm gonna put a bit of prosade on the back of each stitch and then just stick it on to the makeup I think this is the easiest way to do it the stitches are on my skin, I now only need to create kind of the illusion of a hole being in the latex that the stitch would have gone through. So that is something I'm just easily doing with a bit of black alcohol activated makeup that I found in one of the palettes. So just a bit of black will sell the illusion of the stitch better than when you would just leave them on the skin. Time to accessorize and I still don't know if I will leave my hair, my natural hair, become a lady leather face or if I should be a boy. Um, let me get my costume on. So the costume is inspired by the movie. It is a butcher's apron, a tie and just a light colored blouse. And that is why I think I should be a boy leather face. That means I need to do something to the color of my lips and get a wig on. So let me quickly get rid of my hair. So there I am, the boy version of Leatherface. I have two red lips, so I need to dull that down. I will use one of the skin tones in the skin cover-up palette by Encore uh, because I was wearing lipstick and I didn't really think about removing it before starting this video so i'm just going to cover it with a skin tone and my costume looks way too clean obviously if i would be the texas chainsaw massacre i would be dirty and i would be bloody so i've got a few lovely products by ben nye these are grime fx and they are to dirty down your skin your costume and they work very quickly and they are loads of fun to use so i'm just gonna smear a bit on it for now uh, if i would wear this out i would 
spend a bit more time on it but I will just get these colors on the costume so I have a bit on my hands and I will just rub it all over my costume as you can see that went very quickly and the effect is amazing if you want to dirty down clothes for a haunted house or your own Halloween party this is the easiest and quickest way to go so I have that scab colored liquid blood by vermilion effects again and I will just put it on my hand and smear it over the apron because I do want the Texas Chainsaw Massacre to have a bit of blood on its costume so there is the blood I should have put the tie aside again we'll just put it on there maybe a bit on there as well on my apron or would everything be a bit bloody if I have just murdered people with my chainsaw and that basically completes my texas chainsaw massacre leatherface inspired makeup tutorial for today i had loads of fun creating this one and i absolutely hope you enjoyed watching it as well if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our youtube channel in the link below stay tuned on all our videos we have loads of videos planned for you this halloween season so if you don't want to miss any of them don't forget to hit the little bell notification that is next to the subscribe button because then we can notify you of new videos on this youtube channel for now i wish you a wonderful day and i hope to see you back next time